Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on Forgotten Weapons. Today we're taking a look at a really cool prototype Mauser pistol, or semi-prototype. This is a model 1912-14, and uh, the history behind this thing is, well basically, um, you can see it bears a bit of a resemblance to the model 1910 pocket pistol. What had happened was, um, in the, the first decade of the 1900s, Mauser was looking at a way to exploit the, uh, the military arms the military pistol market. They wanted to build a, a handgun in 9mm Luger and uh, of a little more conventional design than the, the C96. And so they actually tried working up a straight blowback 9mm pistol. That was designated the model 1909 and it, it didn't work very well. Um, it was just too light of a gun to work as a, a straight blowback with that powerful of a cartridge. So simultaneously that pistol evolved into this, the model 1912, um, and they also miniaturized it and left it as blowback in, to make the 1910 in uh, smaller cartridges where blowback was an acceptable mechanism. So this guy actually has a, a locking or a, a friction mechanism in it. Unfortunately, we can't take this one apart to uh, help delay blowback and, and keep the gun safe. It has a number of really kind of funky controls to it as well. So it is in 9mm Luger. Um, about 200 of these are believed to have been made. Um, most of them were experimental. Uh, apparently there is a batch that was sold in Brazil, of all places. But uh, I have our magazine here, nice little viewing from the side. The slide cannot be opened with the magazine out, which is kind of an unusual idea. So we lock the magazine in. The slide still cannot be opened until you depress this little button in front of the trigger guard. That allows you to open the slide. Uh, also, of course, you have to have the safety off. That's kind of a given. Now, once the slide's open, you have to figure out how to close it because that little button stays, doesn't do anything once the slide's open. The way you close it, because you can drop the magazine and the hold open stays engaged. The way you close it is actually to take the magazine out and then replace it, and then it will close automatically. So when you reload a, uh, a new full magazine, it automatically drops the slide and chambers the first round. Um, you know, again, this was kind of still in the early days of, of military semi-auto pistols, and there were a lot of ideas floating around that we might think of as kind of foolish today, like that one that, uh, you know, people didn't know what would be a good idea and what wouldn't. So you end up with some strange, funky systems like this. So, just want to thank Rock Island Auction for letting us come out and take a look at some neat pistols like this Mauser 1912-14. And uh, tune in again to ForgottenWeapons.com for more interesting early semi-auto pistols.